You might think the best place to find the source of Clan Curry would be in Edinburgh, where there's a suburb which used to be a village with the same name. But the Curry origins are not in the capital. But the surname comes from the Clan McVurach, a family of hereditary bards who served the Lords of the Isles and the Macdonalds of Clanranald for more than 500 years. Following the Jacobite defeat at Culloden and the occupation of the Highlands, many Gaelic names were anglicised or they were more usually given English names that faintly resembled the original. So, McVurach appeared in a variety of forms before eventually arriving at Curry. The clan's origins go back to the 13th century, when Murach Adeli was expelled from Ireland, its thought for murder, and arrived in Scotland in 1213. O'Daly settled in Finlarig on Isla, stronghold home of Donald, Lord of the Isles, the man who gave his name to Clan Donald and grandson of the great Somerled who built an island empire that stretched the length of the west coast. In Gaelic, he was known as Renan Yellen, the King of the Isles. As bards to Clan Donald, the McVurach family held positions of great authority, second only to the clan chiefs. Some were lawyers and physicians, but the bards held the most important role of all, recording clan history and devising epic poetry to remind warriors of the past glories. But the Lordship's authority crumbled when they tried to negotiate the breakup of Scotland, forming an alliance with Edward IV of England, and they were eventually suppressed by King James IV. But the McVurich bardic tradition continued with the Macdonalds of Clan Ranald in South Uist. The McVurichs had already served Clan Donald for more than 300 years, but the Clan Ranald Association produced the largest collection of Gaelic poetry, notably the Red and Black Books of Clan Ranald, which contain material which was certainly composed and put into written form well within the period of the Lordship. The line was extinguished when Niall McVurach died in 1726. He had chronicled James Graham, the great Montrose's campaign against Cromwell, in the last body of Gaelic prose in Scotland written in the ancient Irish style of his ancestors. <laughs>